Yo guys, what's going on? And welcome to the Barbells and BJJ podcast. Yeah, we had a little bit of a rebrand on the podcast uh, for a few reasons. I was talking with a very, very good friend of mine the other day. And um, we were talking about things like uh, podcasting and particularly the podcast name, which I, after this conversation, for various reasons, realized was kind of shit. Um, so I kind of wanted a little bit of a rebrand. And so I thought, why? Why not put two of my favorite things together, that being my love of training in general and my love of BJJ, into the podcast title? Uh, and the biggest thing is we could talk about training and BJJ till the cows come home, but I want to talk about everything, anything and everything. I just thought it's a much easier name to remember. It's a much easier name to spell, much easier name to say. and yeah, is a little bit more, I don't know, attractive and better sounding in that way. So that's what we're going to be going with. You might see another rebrand after another conversation where he tells me, George, this is even worse than the last one you had. But anyway, on to um, today's, and I'm not, uh, by the way, I just want to say this person is a very, very good um, friend and mentor of mine. And um, yeah, I thank him for that. He, in this conversation, we're glossing over some of the contents of this conversation right now because they could be podcast episodes in and of themselves. Um, a lot of the conversations I've had with this person in the past, um, they, they could be uh, podcast episodes in and of themselves. Very, very intelligent, uh, helpful, philosophical, a lot of wisdom, life experience. And um, yeah, really, really thankful for that. So you know who you are, sir. Anyway, on to the topic of today's podcast which again is not the evidence hierarchy but i don't think anybody's really crying out for that right now um it is more so just a ranty podcast for me i guess i uh, titled it control what you can i'm gonna get into what i mean by that in a moment once i level some frustrations into this microphone that made me think of this message and i thought you know what this can be spun to good use this and this could be spun to good lessons that can maybe uh help some people you know because it's all about responding to adversity which is what we're going to be talking about today where georgie's very very frustrated today he's very very frustrated indeed uh for various reasons that being that we are in the middle of uh, and by we, I mean me and my dad. My dad is very, very kindly helping me out with this. Are uh, converting one of the rooms of the house into a little bit of a room where I can conduct more high quality podcast episodes. And I've got a lot of equipment uh, that uh, I'm looking to expand on the quality of this production with. You know, we've got some, you know, some high quality microphones. Uh, and it's going to be a good space we can bring that I can bring regular, good quality content out from. Sort of like a dedicated workspace area. And I'm very, very excited about that. It's been a lot of work so far. And we're not quite done getting the uh, room sorted yet, but it's getting there. Uh, and a lot of the equipment is here. Everything is pretty much nearly ready to go. But there's been setbacks. There's been a lot, a lot of setbacks. Um, to this uh, in the form of uh, audio interfaces that uh, currently have not been working. For those who don't know, uh, in order to use high, uh, some of the high end microphones, you need sort of like an audio uh, interface, uh, whether it be a USB interface that connects to your computer or otherwise, you need some sort of uh, interface in order to power the uh, top end microphones. And Georgie is at the order two at the moment. One of the ones that he used just wasn't compatible for what he was um, needing it for. And the second one, which is, I've seen it recommended by um, a lot of people, just doesn't seem to be working. It won't connect to my computer or power on whatsoever. Now, as you can imagine, this is very, very, very frustrating. Um, when nearly everything is ready to go and it's just this one thing that's seemingly holding everything back and it's really really gotten to me today I'm not gonna lie it really really has 
uh, got to me in quite a big way. I started to get really, really uh, down on myself, really, really frustrated, um, angry, you know, thinking, what the fuck is the point? Um, and that's when I remember this this little bit of uh, little bit of advice that I once read. It's one of the um, things that Stoic philosophy touches on quite a lot, and it's the control what you can uh, idea that there's only a certain amount of things that you can control. There's going to be a lot of things in your life that you can't control, and those things, therefore, it's not worth getting in a tizzy about. It's not worth getting emotional about, and if you do get emotional about those things, then you are complicit in your own negative well-being to a certain extent. And I remember that very, very heavily tonight when I was getting on my own back and thinking, as I said, what the hell is the point when this is exactly the point? These challenges that are eventually going to make it all worthwhile in the end, and this can translate over to a lot of things that you may be doing in your life that you know, really, really matter to you, but they're not going to be easy. And often, I think the title of one of Ryan Holiday's books was The Obstacle is the Way. It's these obstacles that allow us to grow as people, get stronger, and really what makes the journey worthwhile. And that you don't really remember early journeys. Like in the gym, you don't remember the weights and the sets and the reps, you know, and the PRs that were easy. For it to be a PR, by definition, it's not easy. That's why you remember them. There's a lot of effort and struggle and consistency that goes into making that PR. And that's really, really important. You encountered obstacles. Every rep you did was an obstacle. Every set you did was an obstacle. Every time you didn't want to turn up to the gym, but you did, that was an obstacle that you overcome. And you did it by controlling what you can. And oftentimes, the only thing we're in control of is not what happens to us, is how we respond to them. And that's really, really important. It's very, very important to make sure that your responses to things that go wrong are positive in some way. Like, take this tonight, for example. I could very, very easily have used this as an excuse to not jump on and do this recording, to not carry on and excavating basically the room that all this equipment is eventually going to go in you, you know i could have let it all fall by the wayside as i have with some other things in the past but again we're in control of how we respond to them so i chose to respond in a positive way so just remember guys you're not always going to be in control of everything that happens to you but you can be in control of how you respond to it and what it means. That's all up here. That's all what goes on up here. So remember, control what you can, and disregard what you can't. You're going to worry about things that you can't control, whether it be in the past, whether it be potentially in the future. Just think about it. I was watching a tremendous video, my opinion, by uh, Patrick Bet David on the valuetainment. Uh, YouTube channel, I think it was titled The Loneliness Epidemic, and uh, he highlighted something that was very, very important, and that was that if you spend too much time thinking about the future, you're leading yourself very, very uh, quickly into a lot of anxiety and, uh, you know, anxious thoughts about what the future may bring, what's going to happen, what's, what's not going to happen, are you going to make it, are you not, etc., etc., and then also the idea of living too much in the past. And then that's what can heavily cause depression, thinking too much about what you should have done, what you could have done in past situations that you can't do anything about now. You have no control over those situations, over the outcome of those situations. They're in the past. They're gone. So it's pointless reminiscing too much over it, or ruminating rather, too much over things that you could have done better. You just use experiences like that to influence what you do in the present. That one workout that you missed when you know you really could and should have gone to the gym is going to make sure that you don't miss today's session or tomorrow's session. 
that feeling of not reading that one chapter or a couple of pages of that book before you went to bed that's going to make to uh, make sure that you read them the next time. Do you know how that feels? You feel as though you let yourself down and that influences your present action so that you don't do it again. But the only thing that you are directly in control of is the present and what you do right now. That's the only thing that you're directly in control of. So keep one eye to the future. Because again, you're going that way. You're going that way. And use the lessons of the past to influence the present so you can give yourself the best chance of the future. But yeah, I just wanted to jump on, guys. I think that was a very, very important thing to touch on is that often we can spend so much time focusing on things that are out of our control and then we turn ourselves into our own worst enemy we are complicit in that you choose to focus on other things that we are in control of and so you've got to make sure that you do remember to do it hope you enjoy guys stay tuned for more obviously a lot more coming soon and I will catch you very, very soon. All the best, guys. Take care. Out.